Um, Joan, where is Joan? I'm here. You're there, okay. Um, here's an interesting one now for you. Kate McGrew may not be a name that you know yet, but you soon will. She's one of the stars of the new RTE program, Connected. She describes herself as a sex worker and says that for women who choose the profession, <laughs> it is empowering. She says that prostitution per se isn't the problem, rather the problem lies in direct provision, poverty, or trafficking. Do you agree? Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the question. Whoa. Could you repeat just the last bit the of last, that? That um, prostitution for women who choose the profession is empowering. She says that prostitution per se isn't the problem, rather the problem lies in direct provision, poverty, or trafficking. Thank you. Thank you for the question. There has actually been a lot of debate recently about trafficking and the problems around the with um, the asylum seekers in the centres and um, the, the the traffickers, the, the people that are caught, that that are rescued from the situation are put into hostels where people know they're there and they're recruited <coughs> back out of the hostels in, into the area. So basically, I would agree that trafficking, sex trafficking and everything that comes out of prostitution does cause a huge amount of suffering and difficulty and attracts the, the, the sort of criminal element and uh, it's very undesirable. However, I'm not sure that I would approve of women prostituting themselves on a, a regular basis, that it's liberating and rewarding and makes money. I really don't think that I would have chosen that on my, on my, as my career when I was leaving school, mm. and I doubt if my career guidance teacher would have taught me that either. <laughs> so um, I really wouldn't agree on either, either part. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Oh. Um, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What I'm going to say pertains to prostitution, but uh, it's not my idea or my concept of it or anything like that. But recently, somebody came to my house and they brought a tea of Neil Tobin. And apparently he was in Vicar Street one night and he told some jokes and they made a recording of it. And one of them went like this. The guards raided a brothel in Dublin one night and there were quite a few ladies there. Of course, there were gentlemen as well, and the men slipped out the back door, as you were sure, yeah. taking no responsibility, just like Adam and Eve. But, <laughs> the girls were all caught anyway, and so they had to appear on the road. And uh, the lady who ran the place sort of said it was a kind of a, a business, um, <laughs> business venue, where these ladies were secretaries and they were all doing this, that and the other, and they were facilitating businessmen, but in a different <laughs> light. <laughs> anyway, they were all lined up in front of the judge, and uh, he said, uh, and you, he said, I suppose, uh, uh, what exactly was your role there? And she said, oh, your honor, she said, I was the main secretary, and the girls, you know, they all had to sort of answer to me and so on and so forth. And he went down the line, five or six of them, and he said, go on, go on, go on. And the last old lady came along, and she was a bit older than the others, and not as chic or anything like that. And he said, I suppose you were a secretary too. I know, Your Honor, she said, I was only a plain old hero. And he said, well, uh, how was it? He was a bit mortified, and he said, well, uh, uh, how was business, you know? I mean, you know, what was the line? Oh, she said, I was great, Your Honor. I have to say, your own crowd were great. <laughs> <laughs> I just wonder what makes you think that direct provision, trafficking, or anything like that has anything to do with prostitution. Surely it's men that create prostitution. I don't hear of many ladies going out looking for ladies for the night. <coughs> so I think it's we could ask some of our um, <laughs> male colleagues here tonight. Sure. <laughs> 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 That has been uh, going out paying for six months to be worried.
surprises me then the people are going paying large sums of money I believe I'm not so sure what the rates are um, mm -hmm. but I'd like to hear why we why men do that in today's world I'm <laughs> <laughs> keep <My> talking <laughs> you know more about me than I do about myself <laughs> for starters that's why I nominated you <laughs> Francis who told you that nobody that only women women are not involved in this this game they wouldn't survive in their business, I believe, Pimps. of what I'm told about, unless right. they're clients. Okay. <laughs> it's women that drive men. Because we go we, we out day one and we get fond of wedding cake. And that's where it is. <laughs> and after that, it's all downhill. <laughs> and then it's the barter system. That's what moves in then, the barter system. I was going to say tit for tat. But <laughs> the barter system sets in. And that's when the crack starts. And then men get depraved and deprived. And all that goes with it. And there's a need for it. And I've never used that before. I don't look, look at it. <laughs> the service. But I am told there is a need for it. And I feel that... I feel I'm going to say no more. <laughs> <laughs>